And I want to talk today about proper hand exercise for golfers. Um, it's actually a subject that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, I'm the developer of the Handmaster Plus uh, hand exercise system, which many of you have, have, may have seen uh, by now. And uh, it was actually developed through working with professional golfers. Uh, back in the day, I was a professional golfer for about three years, so I was able to see firsthand what the mentality of golfers were as far as grip, uh, their idea of grip strengthening was. And most people would just take a ball and squeeze it. A ball or a coiled product or a, or a spring-loaded product and just squeeze. And I can tell you that's just that's a, that's a poor um, understanding of the hand muscles. Basically, we have nine muscles that close the hand, and we have nine muscles open that spread the hand. And those muscles all cross the they will cross the finger joints, thumb joints, wrist joints, and elbow joints. So if those muscles become imbalanced, we, all of the, any, any one of those joints could be, become unstable. And we still see a lot of hand, wrist, and elbow injuries in golf. And to this day, our mentality is still to squeeze something. We really, really have to um, begin to understand that until we open and spread and strengthen the muscles that open and spread the hand, that we're not going to see any change in this pattern. Uh, we're still seeing a lot of wrist injuries to this day, hand and wrist injuries. Wrist injuries quite popular uh, with Padre Harrington having a wrist injury before uh, the British Open and Luke Donald missing the British Open because of a hand, uh, because of a wrist injury. But there's been many high profile injuries. Uh, Ernie Els, Phil Mickelson had wrist injuries. I know Ian Leggett, our, I'm a Canadian, so our own Canadian had a wrist injury. And I'm convinced that uh, the mentality of not addressing finger extensors uh, is going to lead to limited muscle tone and limited blood flow in those areas. And once we start, you know, putting pressure because of a golf shot into those joints, we're going to see if they're, if they're strong or not. So very important to, you know, we, a lot of people, we would dismiss hand muscles off, who cares about training them, but it's hugely important for hand, wrist, and elbow health. And especially to a golfer where you're using these muscles uh, over and over and over. And, if we can strengthen these areas and stabilize them, we're going to see performance go up and injury go down. So I want to show you the Handmaster Plus, how we use it. We do work with hundreds of professional golfers, mostly in the Canadian Tour, um, but we, we're starting to see that until we don't train properly, uh, we know performance is going to be limited and we also know injury is going to be higher than it should be. So very simply, we're going to have the, gol the golfer, or if you golf yourself, you take the ball, keep your wrist straight, squeeze against the ball, open and spread against the cord. Okay, just one continuous exercise and I'm going to strengthen and balance all 18 muscles because my hand goes through a full natural range of motion. I'm going to get maximum blood flow to the tissues and joints and that's super important in preventing injury. Okay, so when I close, I strengthen the nine muscles that close the hand. When I open, I strengthen the nine muscles that open the hand. Okay, very, very important. This simple exercise. Now, we used to have to show the athletes three or four different exercises for this one. Now, it's so simple. There's no excuse why not to do it. Okay, and you'll notice when you feel this, you're going to feel a lot of, uh, you're going to feel, feel the, the muscles on this side of your hand and the muscles on this side of your hand. It's a great feel, and as you get working with it, you're going to see your grip strength goes way up and the injury goes way down. Now, the other, um, the other exercise we show golfers is to squeeze against the ball, keep the thumb on the ball, extend just the fingers, and then extend the wrist backwards. So squeeze for one, extend the fingers for two, extend the wrist for three. But that is will strengthen all the finger extensors and the wrist extensors and that lateral form will just get super stable and that's what supports grip is these extensor muscles. It supports everything you do in your grip. We use these a lot but nobody's training them properly. Okay? So the product is available at DocZac.com. That's www.doczac.com. Um, you can go through one of our brand partners or our therapy distributors or you can just buy online. And another quick comment before, before we end is that many people ask me, well, do I want strong hands for golf? I, I've heard that you want really relaxed hands. Well, it's, you do want, I will tell you adamantly, you do want strong hands. You want strong, balanced hands. And the stronger your grip strength is, the more you can relax. You always need control and relaxation. But if your muscles aren't strong enough to relax and still have control, you're going to have a real problem. The other point is that if I get into the, if I get into rough, I hit my ball in the rough. Now I need actual physical strong grip strength, because especially with the left hand, as I grip that, that's what's going to keep my club face from turning over in the rough. Okay, so strong grip strength is absolutely key in golf. When your hands are strong, you can relax and have great control of the golf club.